that's where we're at right now. And we got a long way to go, but um, actually, I have a turtle over there. Oh, shoot! guys, Gentle Pit here, and today I'm doing another Feed the Beast on Minecraft. This is my server, and I did a little bit of this uh, about four hours last night on live stream. But anyways, uh, that's the NPC village I decided to build next to, and I rebuilt it because it was all kind of weird when it spawned. But back here is the first part of my house that I built. And I know it doesn't look like much, but the reason I'm building it like this, there's a reason. So, um, over here is my, my little bed that's temporary. Uh, I built a little kind of waterfall right there. I thought I'd make a nice scenery on the corner. And just the front entrance, or the side entrance, this is uh, where the uh, tunnel goes down to the mainland where the peasants live. There's a ladder that goes straight down there. Whoop. Yeah. All the way down. I'm on this nice overhang. I don't know if you all saw this yet or not, but it's pretty awesome, and I can't wait to finish it, but I've got a long way to go because it's not just going to be like this little flat house like it is right now. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but, you know, we'll see We'll, we'll see as we go along. But um, last night on the live stream, I, uh, I built this thing called a grinder. I didn't know how to make it power on. See, it? there's no power here. I, I, I don't know... What I had to put it in for if your fuel or anything like that. So let me show you how it works real quick and let me show you how it's powered. So I've got, let's see, let me start off with eight copper ore here. So actually I have uh, a 12. Yeah, okay. Making sure it's all the same kind. Okay, so I'm gonna put 12 copper ore in here and it's gonna take a minute to power up because I'll show you why. But I'll show you what all this stuff is in a minute. Let me go ahead and go back out here. And over here in this room is my power source. This is a solar array. And what this is is a solar turbine. And it sucks up the water during the day and it uses these little uh, solar mirrors that reflect the sun's power and makes it suck up the water and it puts it into this battery. And that's what that little uh, yellow orangish bar is right there. And then it's funneled into these different devices over here that are part of factorization mod. So let me show you in here real quick. And I'm going to add more mirrors later, but I'm out of silver, so it takes a lot of silver just to make one of those things. So you see this grinder here is going now. And I put 12 pieces in there, and it's already got 5, so I've got 2 extra. So the reason I did the grinder is because if you're lucky, at the max you can get you know, three to one ratio on some ore. So like copper ore, uh, you know, I put in 12, I may get 36 ingots, maybe, if I'm lucky. Woo, cross your fingers. I'm not gonna show this whole thing because it's a, it's a long process, but basically what you do is you take this out once that pops out and then you come over here, I uh, think, and let me grab, wait, no, there's, there's buckets in there, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put, the dirty copper in here and basically what it's going to do is it's going to cycle through this dirty copper copper gravel that came out of this uh, grinder and it's going to sift through it it's going to turn it into sludge it's going to give me an empty bucket and it's going to give me clean copper chunks so what i do with the bucket is i fill it up put it back in and i'm using this tank here because i thought it'd be easier than just getting an infinite source infinite source and going back and forth and back and forth because you have to basically babysit this thing. I mean, you can have three buckets in here at one time, but still, it's it's pretty a long process. So, it takes a little while. Okay, so once I have all this clean copper chunks, I'm gonna go over here to this sludge furnace, and I'm gonna put those in this top slot here. And what this does, this machine basically turns it into something else. It's like more refined or something like that. But there's a chance of getting a two to one ratio. So there we go. So instead of just six, now I have seven. And every once in a while, it'll pop up two pieces instead of just one. It's random. Yep, I got lucky. Look at that. That's four. All right, so we're done. So what I did was I put six pieces in there, and I got eight out. So that's a nice little yield. So from here, what I do is I go into the crystallizer. And you have to have six sulfuric acid in here at all times to heat it. 
see this heater here and it heats up this sledge furnace but at the same time you can put things on each side of it so I can put something on this side I put this crystallizer over here it's working but it needs to be fed by this heater that's how it gets its power so the power comes in here and it uh, bakes the sulfuric acid into the whatever ore you're using which in this case I'm using gold chunks and I built another one over here I'm gonna build more once I have more stuff to work with but this uh, these 10 chunks see I have 36 right here uh, that's I think each one of these turns into one ingot let's go try that out real quick and another cool thing about this heater here I've got a regular furnace sitting on the other side of it but still I'm facing it so if I put anything in here it's gonna just be automatically fueled there's nothing in here so it automatically fuels it so I don't ever have to worry about coal again as far as like cooking stuff like this so it's an infinite power source more or less as long as it's daytime so as, as you see right here I've got 36 ingots that's what it's gonna turn into so let me show you real quick go back to this crystallizer I started off with 18 ore so I've already doubled that and I still have more coming so I, it's a pretty good yield and it's definitely worth all the time and effort so I'm really happy with that and I'm gonna have after I get more materials so I can build more of these crystallizers and more furnaces and heaters I'm gonna come over here that way I can have all this stuff going at the same time see like this right here I need to put back in here I still have more copper coming see I want to make crystallizers over here and over here that way I have a ton going at the same time and in case you didn't see the live stream last night this is a diamond chest that basically you put glass around and then you can see through it but it holds so much stuff oh my gosh so yeah anyways I'm um, also a byproduct of this right here the uh, mixer is sludge and if you take the sludge and you put it into a furnace let me go ahead and just take this out real quick put this into a furnace it's gonna turn every piece of sludge into a piece of clay ball so that's gonna eventually turn into more clay so you have an infinite source of clay as well so that's really cool oh also um in here you may ask me about this this uh infinite water source in a tank basically what I did was let me go ahead and just fill this up what I did was I, I went to the top here because I wanted an infinite water source and let me just show you here we go so I have a solar panel so this works the same time as everything else down there because that's the only time I'm going to be using it so you have the electric engine hooked up to that and then you have a water pump and into an infinite source and then that goes down to the copper tubing and I put a sandstone tubing to blend in with everything that's around my house the top of my house and it goes down into that tank so whenever I take water out of that tank it automatically fills back up so it's really cool I'm really happy with this I see that thing is going now I need to get uh, I don't know how many you can actually fit around it but I think I can fit a few more because I love spaces in between those other mirrors so so the faster you know it goes or the more mirrors it has the faster it gets energy the faster the turbine goes I don't think it, you know, feeds any faster, but, you know, I'm not using all that power at the same time yet. So that's pretty cool. I wanted to show you all that because I made a lot of progress since last night. And definitely since I started this, I don't know if y'all even saw the first live stream or anything like that. <laughs> oh, wow. What a derp. Uh, that's okay. That was totally worth it. I hope somebody got a laugh out of that. <laughs> I didn't know it was that close to the edge. I, I need to finish building my house over this edge so I don't have to worry about doing that. Also, uh, since I was down here... Oh, wow. There's oil. Okay. So, also, since I was over here, I wanted to show y'all... I started to do this. I haven't finished it yet. But one of the things I wanted to do was make a cenote down here. And if you're not familiar with that, basically it's an underground... Ah! What are you doing? I can't... All I see is your helmet. Oh, you're, you're covered in oil. What? Dude, there's oil everywhere. Where's that coming from? 
I don't see any oil over here. I know there's some on the other side of that desert village. Come here. I can't get you. There we go. Anyways, I was trying to say is there is... I have a turtle over here. Whoa, what? Dude, what happened? All you are is a head and a... What the frack is that thing? Are you wearing like a leg band or something? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> this is triggered. What the heck? Oh. That was weird. Did y'all see his leg? He was like invisible. It's like you can see like a leg move around. And then when he started to like explode, there was a little flicker. There's like a little bomb inside of him you can see. Oh, there's another one. What is going on with you creepers? Come on. Yeah, give me that. Shot of minium. Ah. Anyways, what I was trying to say is I have my turtle over there on the other side of this ridge here. And he's over there uh, mining sand and sandstone so I can finish building my house. Because I got tired of like digging it myself. But I was like, you know what? I got two turtles. Let me put that sucker to work, baby. So anyways, guys, I just want to show you all what's going on in my little uh, Feed the Beast world. One of uh, two. I know I'm doing one with Zbot. And I know it's kind of confusing if I'm boun bouncing back and forth. But wanted to give you all an update. Show you what's going on. I hope you all enjoyed this. Make sure you leave it a like if you liked it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!